I would say on the beginning, uh, when you use ChatGPT natively from the web, you are still kind of doing like a manual work. Yeah, you can go to ChatGPT, put there one prompt, get some output. Yeah, for another thing, you would put there another prompt, etc. On the other end of this spectrum, I would put the Zapier or Integromat or N8N, which I mentioned, where you can integrate OpenAI into the complete workflows. Somewhere in the middle, um, I would put spreadsheets which HR people love spreadsheets, plus with spreadsheets, you can kind of do this work semi-automatic. So let me show you how you can integrate actually ChatGPT into spreadsheets. Um, let's say that, for example, you were on GitHub and uh, you were looking for Python developers in Berlin and you scraped, for example, using Instant Data Scraper, uh, of course, uh, locating the next button and everything, you scraped a table. I did this beforehand, uh, so I got it here. And I can ask, for example, ChatGPT to give me an Excel formula for spreadsheet formula for uh, scraping the title of the page. So the first link here in the first column is a link for a GitHub profile. So I asked how to do that and it showed me that it's import XML, which you would normally, of course, you would copy paste it from the web, from ChatGPT. I put it here, like kind of like by hand, a, a two actually it's, and here we got title. Enter, uh, there is, yeah, import, similar, and we got, as you can see, this is the title of the page, and then, of course, you would do this, and it would load everything as you need it. Yeah, so that's, of course, one way, just use it as a helper. Uh, there is actually the whole project Excel formula bot, uh, which is like a chatbot where you can actually chat about these specific formulas for uh, for that. But as you can see, the ChatGPT can do it pretty well as well. Uh, there is also a plugin uh, which you can use. It's called uh, GPT Formula, uh, which you can for Excel spreadsheets. And we can do, for example, this one. Let's say we got in C2 column, we got name and uh, the first name and last name. And we want, for example, just the first name. So uh, we can use the GPT formula here and we can say, for example, parse first name from column and it's C, yeah, generate and it would generate the Excel formula for me. I will copy paste it, put it here, copy paste, enter, I got it, yeah? And yeah, I, I could just click yes. So as you can see everywhere uh, here, there is no first name, there is some nickname, etc. here as well. So it depends if you want to use it, otherwise you would like, re you would say not, not uh, give me the first name from that, but just, for example, the first word uh, from that, etc. Um, so, as you can see, this is what we wanted and we can continue. So, this is also really neat plugin GPT formula. Uh, we can also use the scripting, for example, uh, behind Google Sheets. Yeah, behind Google Sheets, there is a scripting and uh, you can use some scripts there, but of course, maybe you don't know how, you don't know the syntax, you don't know the coding, but ChatGPT actually knows that. So uh, we can do kind of the same thing, which we did here with the first names, we can do with scripting. So you can open scripts. So in extensions, you would click on scripts, but of course, first we need we need to know like what to put in it. So here I asked uh, Google to create a Google Sheet script which parses the first name from the column C and paste it into column L. Yeah, so uh, let's do something similar. Maybe use column M instead. So uh, let's go into ChatGPT 
and create Google Sheets script which would parse first name from column C and paste it into column M. Yeah? Enter and let it work. As you can see, uh, if something is done right with ChatGPT, uh, it's really coding yeah? in different kind of languages, uh, of course. Uh, you can just click here on copy code. Uh, it's also telling you how you can use, uh, how you need to use that. They yeah? are opening the script editor, etc. We already did it. We can put it here, save it, and we can hit run. If you have some uh, error uh, in the execution log and you don't know what it means, you can also like copy paste the error and go back into your GPT and uh, put it there. Yeah? You need to usually do this and uh, you can ask the chat gpt about uh, about the errors as well now the execution was completed correctly so let's go back and as you can see in the column m we got the first names of the people right there yeah so as you can see now you have like more ways how to do that like asking chat gpt about the formula asking for example the plugin about the formula or asking no using any uh, any uh, plugins and asking uh, for scripting and do the script directly here yeah? being independent um, on any I would say external tools so that's another way how to do that uh, there is another plugin uh, which you can use and that's called GPT for sheets and docs so you can find chat GPT for sheet, uh, sheets and docs install that and you can use it and call GPT prompts directly from here so I can go uh, you, you need to go to extensions as you can see there are add-ons extensions in Google Sheets as well not in browser yeah, this extension is extension for Google Sheets, not the browser. And uh, click on enable GPT function. I'm enabling the GPT function. Okay. And now when I go, for example, into one cell, I can hit GPT. And as you can see, there is GPT as Excel function. And I can, for example, put here um, uh, when you want to combine it with something else but when you want to just put there like one prompt you would just say it here like say hello yeah something like that for example uh, I think it needs to be in quotes yeah so now it was working calling to GPT and it said hello how can I assist you today so I'm now actually chatting with the chat GPT over Google Sheets cell. Yeah, I, I, I got a whole chat GPT chat in the cell. So if you want to combine it with some other um, columns, for example, in the spreadsheet, you can, you need to use concat uh, as a one option. And I, for example, can say create or compose an outreach message and invite this person for lunch my name is Jose and the person would be in the column um, M yeah so this one so you can do something like that let's see what we will get um, and we will go from there dear Pavel so it seems there is something longer so dear Pavel I hope this message finds you well my name is Kose and I can course your uh, profile on LinkedIn I was impressed by etc as you can see it assumes that I found this person on LinkedIn actually I found on the person on github but you can be even more specific in what you put there now of course as normally as what you do in Excel Excel you would scroll this down like that and now we will get the messages for all the people in the tab that's what i call the semi-automatic work yeah natively in the in the chat gpt app you would do it like one by one in zapier you could kind of automate it 
like in the workflows here it's kind of semi you have a batch of people we got a batch of let's say 100 people from github and we can create the messages automatically for all of these people um, let's move further uh, we can also for example create a script and sending the emails right away so of course now i will not be sending those emails to the emails of these people but you can simply go to chat gpt and say something like create create uh, google sheets script which will send an email with a body of the email in the column and now you will put there uh we got it like uh that's that's the different tab uh n and uh using you would continue and using the email in column y yeah so uh i actually so it would create this script it's quite simple script using the send emails uh, function mail app function for sending the email so it would go directly from the gmail which is or google apps uh, email which is associated with this spreadsheet yeah because if you are in this google spreadsheet you are sign up and sign in with your account as you can see right here so then you would copy paste it there into the scripts and run it and it would send the emails and people would get this is just the test message uh, of course i'm not sending to these real people in uh, which i scraped from github and you would get this message so as you can see now you have a nice um i would say sort of tools how you can access actually chat gpt but over spreadsheets but there's more you can do even more with this plugin ChatGPT for uh, for docs. There is another functionality, um, or not functionality, function, Excel function, GPT underscore table. So you don't need to use GPT, but GPT table. As you can see, there are even more. Uh, and with, chat, uh, with GPT table, you can, for example, you can basically do the whole sourcing starting from google sheets so as you can see for example i can put here create a list of cfos maybe in banking in sweden yeah something like that so completely from scratch let's wait if we got something there da 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 da, -da boom yeah we got it there we got some real people of course unverified uh, from here the bank here and you can continue then for example with the chat gpt uh but just the gpt command and you can put here for example give me more information about this company here we got a company and we need to do it like that company enter yeah it will probably give us the information and then of course we can copy paste it to other columns in the in the table and of course now we got it so i can do like that and we can continue we can for example say um gpt give me domain name for these for this company yeah something like that enter nordea yeah and we can do this and with this procedure we can for example get to the email addresses so we can connect like the for example name first name etc uh or ask what's uh, what's uh, the 
what's, what's the email pattern, for example, with this bank. As you can see, it's slowly uncovering. Yeah. So as you can see, this is this is really perfect. Yeah. Everything is done directly from Google Sheets in bulk, and uh, we didn't even start it like from LinkedIn or GitHub or anything like that. So that's this here. For example, I created create a list of recruitment managers in automotive in Czechia, yeah, in the Czech Republic. Nice list, uh, as you can see, including emails. To be honest. I didn't ask for emails right here. It gave me that automatically for some reason with this prompt. Perfect. So another powerful function. So that was one plugin. Another plugin for um, add-on into Google Sheets. It's called Sheets AI, Sheets AI dot app, uh, which is, I would say, a similar thing, uh, similar plugin. Let me open this page in extension. You will go here, launch it. As you can see, it has this sidebar uh, where you can choose a different kind of uh, parameters. So yeah, you can also choose with kind of uh, what kind of language model uh, at OpenAI you want to use. Yeah, so for example, uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo. It's usually what we use currently. Yeah, there is the beta for. Uh, 4.0, but currently we are using 4.5 uh, Turbo, um, which is also, or, or usually in the chat GPT there is the DaVinci, but uh, 3.5 Turbo is actually 90% more cost effective and uh, kind of like le less than the full DaVinci. Yeah, that's the full DaVinci uh, language model is more, um, it's more, I would say, expensive as well yeah, it takes more of the computer time so and here you can also use the temperature and these things you were used for example here from the playground so there is the formula which is called sheet ai yeah that's the sheet ai or other sheets ai uh, functionality uh, functionalities which can use but it's kind of really similar as you could see with the plugin which I just showed you. Yeah, so these are some examples where you can also create, for example, the full message for the person, personificated with some um, information from some column in this sheet.